focusing on the Z4. Abdul Baltiain lives in Baghdad. And he works for the um, Iraqi Secret Service. Now, Jack Hawk, Jack Bastard, is on mission for investigating the Z4, which is which has started. This is later on, as times pass by a bit, and they've begun the Z4 project. And Abdul Baltiain is curious about this this employee who has questions over, and he's monitoring him. And basically, what goes on in focusing on the Z4 is Abdul monitoring Jack Bastard while he's working at the same aircraft industry again. Now, the bloke has retired a bit and gone down south from Baghdad, but he's come back to work again, and they're, they're a bit sus about him because they don't have firm records on his movements. He claims that he was spending time with some distant family members, and they're a bit sus because they haven't been able to trace it terribly well. Of course, he disappeared off to America and returned to America on a different ID. And, uh,. Over focusing on the Z4, they don't quite work out Jack's identity. It's, they don't discover it. And he ha Jack has encounters with Abdul Baltiain, and he knows that he's on to him. He knows straight away that he's on to him. So um, it's, he, he manages to be able to find details on Z4, but uh, it's, he's, he's been a lot more cautious about it in this, this new episode. And he's... Um, He's, uh, he's gone down south, and because uh, he's got some money, and he's bought a bit of land in, um, in southern Iraq uh, with his false ID, and uh, he's, 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 he's understanding what he's probably going to have to do is to establish a bit of a home base in Iraq, and this is coordinated with the CIA, so it looks like he's a genuine enough citizen. And uh, while he's down south, he meets an Iraqi girl, he's single, and he meets an Iraqi girl, and ironically he falls in love with her. Because he knows the language of Iraq quite well, and he falls in love with her, and he marries her. And uh, they have a kid. Um, after a few months, he has a kid. And then uh, he's contacted by the CIA, and they say, just remain in Iraq for now. So in this phase of it, in focusing on the Z4, he, he's um, returned information to... America on the Z4 that he had, but he's settled in Iraq, and now he's sort of becoming a sleeper agent in Iraq, and focusing on the Z4, the, uh, the probably the movie, I guess, on the Z4 is, is about um, him as he gradually gets a bit older and settles into life with, with his family, and um, sort of adventures with his kid, and uh, adapting to Iraqi society, and in some, in some ways becoming a bit of an Iraqi because he's, he's lived there for a while, but he is indeed a, a, an American agent. So it's just his life in Iraq. There's a bit of espionage to start with, but the rest of the movie is about his life in Iraq. And at the end of the movie, uh, Abdul Baltiang has chased him down and uh, sort, of, um, sort of having words like, but, I suspect you're not who you say you really are, and words like that, and, and all Jack is going, he's got a false idea, he's saying, no, I am who I am, or sort of, whatever words he says, you know, no, I'm real, it's some sort of bullshit, well, I don't really have anything to say at this stage what he would say, but he's just sort of, maybe he's sort of, uh, yeah, sort of even giving a hint of being sarcastic about it, with the interplay between the characters. And, um, so I suppose the movie ends with Jack, um, sort of, he's, he's settled in Iraq, and, uh, he's sort of gotten used to the way of life, and at the end of the movie, that, uh, when he's, he's been settled for a few years without contact from the CIA, and he, he receives a, a message, uh, sent to a private email account, and, uh, 
and, and he reads in, here we go again, is all he really thinks, which sets it up for some action in focusing on the Z5. Uh, 